today's topic is DNA ligase and alkaline phosphatase in tools for genetic engineering in principles and process of biotechnology unit 8 chapter 4 in botany already we have discussed about the restriction endonucleases enzyme and today we are going to see the ligases and alkaline phosphatase enzyme first we will see the dna ligase so dna ligase enzyme joins the sugar and phosphate molecules of double stranded dna with 5 dash phosphate and 3 dash oh in an adenosine triphosphate dependent reaction so ds is double stranded dna okay adenosine triphosphate can be written as atp okay so where the dna if a dna ligase enzyme was put in a dna that is in a vector dna or in the gene of interest dna the both the dna has to join at what point it joins means the sugar and phosphate molecules of double standard dna or single standard rna with phosphate po4 that is 5 dash PO4 means phosphate bond or uh, and 3 dash OH group in the that is in a, in an uh, with the with the help of ATP the reaction will complete. So and this is isolated that is DNA ligase is isolated from T4 phage. So it is isolated from a virus. Okay, the DNA ligase enzyme is taken from the T4 phage. Okay. So, I can illustrate this uh, DNA ligase enzyme function or reaction with the help of this uh, flowchart. So, think this one as a DNA strand. DNA strand. And the, uh, at the end it has 3 dash OH group. Okay. This is another DNA strand. And it has that is PO4. No. This is phosphorus P. Double bond O. And this set and the, the, all the four sets you have that is O that is PO4 PO4 okay. So phosphate phosphate seen in the pi dash side. Now you are applying DNA ligase with the help of ATP. So for this reaction the ATP energy, energy has to require to join the DNA strands. No. So with the help of ATP the DNA ligase was added here what happens this oh group that is this oh group joins with the with this that is with this po group okay after the ligase was added you can see the dna stand this one dna stand and this one dna stand and three dash so here three three dash is here no the h that is h is reduced with the help of atp or NADP that is NAD plus so 3 dash and O P O P double bond O and P O that is this this one it is joined in this position the joining taken place so due to this the 3 dash 5 dash you get a 3 dash and 5 dash phospho diester bond so you are getting by joining with the help of dna ligase you are getting 3 dash 5 dash phospho diester bond nu so this is the reaction of dna ligase enzyme next we move on to alkaline phosphatase enzyme it is a dna modifying enzyme and acts or remove the specific phosphate group at 5 dash terminus of double standard DNA or single standard DNA or RNA. So, uh, as we say, the restriction enzyme is a cut enzyme and DNA ligase is a paste enzyme. And this alkaline enzyme is a add or removal enzyme. So, because of that, it is called as modifying enzyme. Keep it in mind, the modifying DNA modifying enzyme is alkaline phosphatase. They may ask in one mark. In your NEET as well as in your board exam. So where the removal or addition 
is takes place that is the removal and addition of phosphate groups has to be taken place in the 5 dash terminus of DNA or RNA okay so whether it is a DNA or RNA the modification takes place at the 5 dash phosphate group only so it prevents self ligation so self cutting was prevented here okay Next, cutting or joining was pre prevented here. So, this enzyme is purified from bacteria and cough intestine. So, where this experiment was, that is where this enzyme was uh, purified or taken from bacteria and cough intestine. So, you can see, you can see here. The DNA that is this is the plasmid DNA where the cut you can see the phosphorus and OH group both the sides and this is the G that is after DNA ligase yeah what happened the ligation starts okay recombinant DNA is formed but when alkaline phosphatase was inserted that is was put into this what happens means that here one phosphorus group and here one phosphorus group is removed so you can see the inorganic phosphorus is removed so by this what you get both the side OH here also one OH here also one OH here also OH so like this two stands you have OH OH group so the, like this condition there is no if DNA ligase was added also there is no reaction okay after that by adding the phosphorus that is OH for phosphorus and phosphorus for OH, OH the foreign DNA this is a foreign DNA fragment was inserted here and the ligase was added DNA ligase was added now the uh, what is the taken place our DNA was formed here so alkaline phosphatase can modify that is can add or remove the fragments or the phosphate groups okay so if there is ligase enzyme also the OH2 OH in two stand OH group was there there is no reaction with the help of adding of the phosphate group the ligation takes place when, when it is when the alkaline phosphatase is there and this is the normal formation of recombinant DNA, DNA. Already we had seen it in detail. You can see the cut ends. That is the E. coli, e. coli that is E. coli, e. coli enzyme was used to cut the plasmid. And here the gene of interest was taken. And with the help of ligase, that is we have cut it. Here we cut it with the help of restriction endonucleases. And now with the help of ligase we joined it. So this joining you can see this part that is the ligase enzyme which uh, uh, makes attached the, to the plasmid DNA. And now this DNA is called uh, DNA. So this one we have seen in the detail in the recombinant DNA technology. Okay. Detail. And uh, hope you understood. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a like, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.